What's going on? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to go ahead and get the best possible NVIDIA control panel settings. Now, I know I've made this video before, but this is going to be an updated video on how to do so. So if this video helps out in absolutely any way, if you could just go down there and drop a quick like and drop a quick comment to let me know how it helped you out. But yeah. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on to the video. So one of the first things that you're going to want to go ahead and do is go ahead and just right click on your desktop and basically click show more options. And basically NVIDIA control panel should be here. Now, if it's not here, all you're going to want to go ahead and do is go ahead and click the link in the description. It'll take you to the Microsoft store to go ahead and download NVIDIA control panel. Now it should be super easy. All you have to really do is just download it and open it. And pretty much when you open it, you'll be able to do exactly what you need to do. So basically, once you open NVIDIA control panel settings, basically once you go ahead and accept all of the agreeable stuff that you have to accept when you first open the app, it's gonna take you to adjust image settings with previews. Just make sure you're on this screen right here and basically just wanna to go to use the advanced 3D image settings. Now you're not gonna to wanna to go there first. First, you wanna click use my preference emphasizing and it's gonna be on quality at first, but basically you just wanna slide it to performance. And once on performance, you go ahead to just click apply. Now your screen might freeze, but do not worry. It's gonna be completely fine. Just let it unfreeze. It will unfreeze, I promise. And then you're going to want to click use the advanced 3D image settings and go ahead and click take me there. And basically, all you're going to want to do is go ahead and just pause the video right here and take the time to just go ahead and copy each and every single one of these settings. Now, some of the main settings I'm going to go over now, these are super, super important to change. These are going to make the biggest, biggest difference out of all of them. And one of the most important one that you're going to want to change is power management mode. Make sure you have this on prefer maximum force. Now it's right here. It's actually a super simple setting to change. All you're going to do is click the drop down. It's going to be on normal. And make sure you have this on prefer maximum performance. So basically, your card has a certain clock speed that it's at. And all it's going to do is make sure that it's always at a higher clock speed than being at a lower one. So the next three major settings that you're going to want to change that are still in the 3D settings are going to be the threaded optimization and triple buffering. So these two right here, so triple buffering, you're going to want to make sure you have this off and threaded optimization, you're going to want to make sure you have this on. Now, these are two super, super important changes that you want to make sure that you do. And also another thing that you want to go ahead and make sure that you have on ultra is low latency mode. Now, you could really mess with this if you want this all up to you, you can have it on on or you can have it on ultra it really doesn't matter but i would just go ahead and put it on ultra but if you feel any more input delay than you did before then just go ahead and try it on and by the way if you have any sort of problems or anything like that you can go ahead and just restore defaults right here it's really super simple to do but yeah even with those just simple changes you're going to be noticing a huge huge difference inside of your games so what we're going to go ahead and do next is basically go to configure surround physics x now basically on the physics x processor you're going to want to make sure you have this on your gpu and not your cpu because you don't want to be rendering through your cpu obviously right Right. that's why you have a gpu so just make sure you have it on your gpu and which is mine is the 3060 ti and yours should be either the same or something different and basically that's really all you're gonna want to do for this one right here and next basically you just want to go to change resolution and make sure you're on your main monitor right here which mine is the lg well my lg monitor and make sure you have it on the highest refresh rate possible which is mine is 240 hertz now yours would be 144 hertz 60 hertz 75 hertz whatever you have in your case you're gonna want to put it on the highest one available and basically on the resolution right here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have this on the PC section. Do not go up or down. These are gonna be like lower resolutions and it's gonna feel really wonky and weird. Just make sure you have it on the PC and have it on 1920 by 1080 native or obviously whatever sort of your, your native resolution is. So 1440p, 4K, uh, 8K, you know, whatever you're on, which most people are gonna be no, no higher than 4K more than likely. And then basically next, all you're gonna to wanna to go to do is come down here to apply the following settings down here and click use video color settings. Now this is basically just better you know color settings for your monitor it actually really does work it works pretty well actually and make sure you have desktop color depth put this to 32 bit output color to rgb and then output color depth to 10 and the output dynamic range to full and then basically you could just go click apply and then you should be good right there and then adjust a just desktop color settings basically the only ones that you're really going to want to worry about is digital vibrance down here now this setting is super 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 important in games that are like really dark like uh fortnite you know especially if you run like dx11 or dx12 especially when you get on those high settings digital vibrance is actually really really helpful so you basically just want to put this at 90 percent my bad by the way and also next rotate display you don't have to worry about that just make sure it's on landscape the landscape is pretty obvious right and then htp settings you don't have to worry about this either and you don't really have to worry about that right okay we'll just click yes sure yes okay and then um adjust desktop size and position now this right here is actually really not even you don't really have to worry about this either just make sure it's on your resolution settings that are 
like your current settings. So obviously, you know, 920 by 1080, 240 hertz, and then just put it on aspect ratio, and then just do it for both monitors and both monitors that you have. Simply as that. So set of G-Sync. Now this is only gonna be for monitors that have G-Sync. Now G-Sync is something that basically, it kind of aligns your frame rate with the hertz of your monitor. So say you run 144 hertz and you're always gonna be running 144 hertz in a game. Now let's say you drop to 150 FPS or, or yeah, 150 FPS in a game. The hertz on your monitor are gonna drop to 152 at the same time. So basically it just deletes screen tear, even though there probably still might be some screen tear, but it's way less noticeable to the eye. So you just want to click enable that if you have it. I don't have it on right now, but I do turn it on most of the time actually when I'm playing very intensive games. And then set up multiple displays. I mean, this is pretty just like, you know, if you have multiple displays, do the multiple displays, really just one and two, right? And then adjust video color settings. Now this, you don't really have to worry about either. And then adjust video image settings. Um, RTX video enhancement. Now this is actually pretty useful for like YouTube videos and stuff. I think it's if you like have, you get more of an enhancement if you watch like 4K or 8K videos on YouTube. And you can just have this on three, you know what I'm saying? Just in the middle ground. Should be fine like that. And then all you're going to want to do is apply. And remember at any time, if you want to restore this, all you do is click restore defaults right here. And that's basically it. So hopefully this video did help you out in absolutely every way that you needed. And if you need any help at all, definitely be sure to let me know in the comments. Me or a fellow viewer will absolutely answer your question. And don't forget to use credit code SWITCHY in the item shop if you guys are going to buy anything from Fortnite. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, take care, and peace out.